in the community, I think, really add to the personality of the community. It's a culture that brings new people in. It uh, educates people in this community. If you can't find something to do that's, that involves the arts, you're not looking. I'm president of Mike Check Poetry, um, and we're a local nonprofit that encourages spoken word poetry and performance poetry um, and just the written art form in general. Poetry is great. Poetry is a wonderful outlet. Um, you meet new people. You kind of, in a way, meet yourself. You don't really know who you are until you kind of put yourself into words on paper. Um, and you kind of get to know people on a totally different level that you wouldn't even being friends for five years. Someone can get on stage, have never been to an open mic poetry event before, and will share their story in three minutes. Um, it creates immediate honesty with them. You go up afterwards and talk to them, and there's a relationship already built there. You don't have to wait to you know, break down those walls. Um, and it's a way for people to learn how to process their emotions in a healthier way than they might otherwise do. It's kind of exciting to have a six months to paint without having to worry about anything else. I can just work nonstop. I, I create stuff. I, I it's not it's not something I really even plan or think about. It's just like a it's like a day to day activity. Like since I've been here, um, that's all I do. Just because I have the time to do that now. I find inspiration in old nostalgic items. Uh, may it be something that is old and defunct through technology or has held through the test of time because people still find it a gorgeous, interesting object. That's what I wanted to do for this community. Not only like public art, but I want to, I want to show them abstract art. I want to show them stuff that doesn't have a direct narrative or anything, a storyline put in place. That way they can draw it, like their own perception from it. Because I feel like a, a big part of art is not necessarily image, but it's the discussion about the image. I think people don't realize how much of their world is art. From their furniture, to their front door, to their house, to their yard, the vehicles they drive, the, the you know, everything that you, you uh, come in contact with for the most part is, is design or, or art related. But if you go over to the, to the fine art, it's the decorations, it's the stuff on the walls. When you go into a home or an office, it's the way it, it affects how you feel and how you receive that stuff. And a community that supports the arts is always going to be richer in that sense.
taught school for 32 years before I came into this profession. And what I found is that we don't really have bad kids, we have kids who make bad decisions. So if you're gonna teach them how to make better decisions, you have to have a starting point. That is one of the reasons why I'm proud of this art program that we have because it's an opportunity to get them to refocus on something positive and actually produce something positive. They already have enough negative things in their life, you know. So if we really want to turn them around, show them something that will be rewarded. Show them that something that is promising. It, it gives them the idea that they can do things that is of worth, that is of value. Uh, it also provides them out opportunity to, to venture out. Most of these kids never travel more than 50 miles from when they were born in their lifetime. So Houston was beyond that. One thing I'd say about the arts is I had a preconceived notion about what they did and the impact they made and it was shattered early on. I think that they're at the core of youth development, tourism development, economic development, and I can give you specific examples of all three because I've lived them and seen them. The problem we have is a societal ill that's going to take a society to heal. And, and we just got to just roll up our sleeves and just get out there and, and work. And Art for Life is a program that pairs us with um, at-risk youth so we can create poetry workshops with them to help them you know, figure out what's going on in their lives in a more healthier way. I think there's a really good underlying message and you'll be shocked about how broad and diverse they are in impacting all these areas in our community that you would never in a million years think they touch. Whether you realize it or not, your community is giving you something and everyone needs to find a way. If we could have five hours uh, a year, we would have uh, a fabulous volunteer corps. I don't have a choice, you know, it's just, this is the way my head works, this is what I do. I, I have. To. I have to make art, you know, I, it's, and it's, it's wonderful when people like it.